since you've come home, you've retired, you're now part of the honor flight. Yes. North Country Honor Flight here, and you take help arrange to send veterans to Washington, D.C. to visit the memorials right. built in their honor. Uh, how important is that to you? Uh, why did you decide to participate in, in on uh, the flight? When the, Danny Cafe is the one who started this, and I got on the first flight, and to bring guys down there, and you know, especially the World War II, their their memorial was built last, and most of them didn't have a chance to get down to see it. They were too old, and so we brought them down, and now we're in the Korean and Vietnam, and we still bring in. We just brought a hundred and one year old down. And, Last weekend. Right. It was unbelievable. And er every day, I tell people, you know, if you don't haven't been to the send off, come on just once. Just see it because you'll be coming back again. And this last one we had was the largest one we've had. There was quite a crowd there. Good thing he was outside. <laughs> That's true. There was a, a huge crowd and, yep. and a wonderful day. And many of these veterans have not been to these memorials. This right. Is, this is truly their first trip to Washington yep. to see these memorials. Now, you went on an earlier honor flight back in 2013, one of the first honor flights for the North Very Country where one. you traveled down to the Albany area and went with a group down there. Right. We took a bus to Albany and had a motorcycle escort with police all the way from Plattsburgh to Albany Airport. And then we got on a plane, flew down, did all our stuff, flew back and took a bus all the way back. We didn't have the escort, but we took a bus all the way back. We left at five o'clock in the morning. We got home at two o'clock next morning. Long and day. them all, and they were all World War II, and them guys were still going at two o'clock in the morning. It was unbelievable. And then you went as a guardian on that trip. Yes, that was the first time though you had right. been to the memorials. Yes, first time you had. Well, actually, you didn't go to the Vietnam Wall no. that trip. No. So, uh, and then just last year, you actually went on the honor flight. Right, as a Vietnam vet. As a Vietnam vet, and you got to go to the go Vietnam to the wall. wall. Right. What was that? like to to it's, visit that for the first time it was nice i found a couple of people on there um i didn't know this guy but his mother used to come to all the reunions and schaffenegger knocker or something like that was his name and michael was his first name but that's i looked that one up and i made sure i found him because of his mother and then uh art dupree there's another one that was on the wall. Janet Dupree. I, I, I went and found him. But uh, it was, there's another part of the story. I don't know if you remember Paul Dumas. Sure do. The old guy, Vietnam, uh, uh, Korean vet. He gave up his seat three times so somebody else could go. And he uh, passed away. He was on the flight and he passed away about a week and a half before. And he had given me a cane, a walking stick that he made. And I brought that stick with me. And I told everybody that Paul got to see his Korean monument. And his daughters were, they, they were all uh, teary eyed and crying. They said, they, you know, they didn't know he did that. <laughs> so yeah, that he was, was. He was incredible. Uh, the DAV helping to make uh, Veterans Park Veterans on Park, the Oval yeah. what, it, what it is. So he was, uh, yeah. he was a Him dedicated and I, veteran. I joined up with the DAV and uh, they were talking about building this park. And they had a guy that was from Vermont. Paul was from Vermont. They were gonna go to Bristol, Vermont, I think it was, and get a piece of granite stone for a monument. And I said, why can't we get one here in Plattsburgh? Or I said, my buddy lives, works up at Saranac Clay Quarries. I said, I can get something from him, that's granite. And that stone was up there. Was, uh, Dave Gordon's the one that brought me out and showed him, showed this stuff. And, it was the first stone I seen, and, but it was on his side and it had a shape of a heart on it. And I said, that's the one we want right there. Yeah. And Joyce Huntley and Ron Huntley shipped it down for us and it was a lot of people involved in it, but we got it down, put it up and that's how the park started. And we went out there and Paul was making a mark where he wanted it, so. That's nice. So you were thinking of him that day oh, that yeah. you went on that trip. Going on the trip <coughs> yourself, you went as a guardian first, then. Uh, as a vet, going on that trip, you could really appreciate why it is su such a special day for the right. veterans you from know, here in the North Country that, that every, get to go on this trip. They do everything for you. You don't, you don't, if you want a cup of coffee, we buy it. If you want a piece of pie, we buy it. You don't buy nothing, it's your day, so. A great way to be grateful and say thank you. Right. And they come back and we haven't heard anybody say 
they had a bad time. Everybody loves it. And they tell everybody, and it's just snowballed in a, a big organization. More than 400 veterans now, 27 flights right. altogether. Yep. And it uh, seems to be growing, the crowds are growing, and it uh, really seems to be... Uh, and, you know, and we think we, lo we don't have any more World War II vets, and all of a sudden, two or three more comes out. And you had four on this we last We had four trip. on this one. Which is amazing. And, and we got one coming up in, uh, I think it's September. It's going to have five brothers, well, five brothers and a brother-in-law that were all in Vietnam or in that time. Wow, that'll be special. So they all, they all want to go together. <laughs> <laughs>